Today we're going to the dealership to have service done on the car. We're going to have the oil changed and oil filter changed and then we're going to have the uh, filter in the transmission changed too. But today's going to be a little bit different. I'm not just going to drive in there, drop the car, go into this waiting room and hang around for an hour or two and then take the car and drive it home. We're going to take you from the point at which you drop the car off into the service department to see what they're going to do with your car. Okay? So we're going to see the whole service today. And while I'm thinking about it, if you got a chance, I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. It's for free. And also hit the like button if you like the video and make a comment. You want to see some other videos, you want me to do something else, leave a comment and I'll surely consider it. And I read all of your comments, so thanks very much for the comments. Now, let's take a look at one other thing that's going to be changed, because I've already had it all done. But I'm going to show you what I got here for you today. You ever wonder what the uh, transmission filter looks like? Well, there it is. If I put a put some, uh, you know, spray thing, I'll give you an idea of the size of this thing. You know, there's some invisible glass that I use once in a while, and that's the size of the filter. Now, I don't know if I can get a really close-up look at this filter, but uh, it's vented and shaped rather unusual. I looked very thoroughly inside. Uh, I cannot see any specs or anything that might be in there that might be foreign. Okay, so there you have it. That's what your transmission, your dual clutch transmission filter looks like. And I got it sitting right here. And I also uh, took a sample of oil because I'm sending the oil off to be analyzed, the transmission oil, to see if there's any problem with that. So that's, I sent that out yesterday. And I'm also gonna give you a couple of nuggets. Like the first nugget I'm gonna give you is where do you send off this transmission fluid to have it analyzed? I'm gonna give that to you. So you, if you wanna do that, that's, that's your decision. But maybe you're concerned about it. And I don't care what age your Corvette is, I mean, it's gonna, including uh, a lot of different ones. Second thing I'm gonna give you a connection to is, and I think it's pretty handy, is what are, what are all the TSBs that are out on the car and what are the recalls? And you can there's a site you can go to. I'm gonna give you that site too later on in the video uh, near the end. So uh, hang around for those two, they're pretty good and I think they'll be helpful to you. And also another one about your um, about your window sticker. You can type in your VIN and for like eight bucks they'll give you all the information on your window sticker in case you ever needed it. So there you go. So lots of stuff. Action packed, jam packed information and I think you're going to enjoy this one. Okay we're in here to check our oil life. And the way to check your oil life is to scroll the screen here. This, sc this screen right here in order to scroll it, you have to be down here in the right-hand side of your steering column. And if you, let's see if I can get them both together. If I hit it to the left, the screen grows to the left. See it up here, it's going in the background. I can screen it to the right. And this middle one means if they ask you a question, yes, do I want yes or no kind of question, you can answer it by pushing this button in. It's kind of weird. So you got a scroller and then you have a button you can push if you take those the scroller and you just push it straight in. So what I'm looking for is oil life. So let me, oh, there it is right there. Look at that. So it's telling me I have 31% of oil life. It has 91% of transmission fluid. We've arrived at uh, Naha Chevrolet and we're pulling up here, the service department. This is what you would normally do. You pull up here and you leave your car in, go in and talk at a service manager and uh, then you'd leave your car and go into the waiting room. But today we're going to take a look a little beyond that, as you'll see in a minute. Technician today is, Technician today is Brian Shea, and uh, he's a very, very talented fellow, and I'm, I'm delighted he's working on the car today, I'll tell you that. So Brian's gonna, do his thing, we're going to do the oil change and uh, we're going to do the uh, um, change of the uh, transmission filter too. The worst part is, you know, you can't 
down here you know how hot it is. You've been running the car, you got maybe three hours to do the whole job and the car is not going to cool down enough in time to, to do the proper temperature check on the train fluid because it's got to be at like 104 top 60 to 104 so the car's not going to cool down that quick it's almost 104 in here isn't it? yeah if, <laughs> I'm sweating, yeah, yeah I know, so I know. That, that's the biggest thing we it's it's not going to change that drastically yeah so generally every time i even take the filter out and do the procedure you're still I still got fluid come up, coming out afterwards anyway, so. Okay. So you never, you don't even lose enough to even worry about. So you're gonna do the, um, you're gonna do the transmission and filter first, or? Uh, I do it all at once. Do it all at once, oh, okay. Yeah, well it goes up. All right. Here's the underside. There's about 18,000 screws down here, I think, and I might have a low estimate, but look at that. I'm just gonna go down here, Brian, and get a little look at this. Holy crap. Look at this. That's unbelievable. So you have to pull, what, one panel down, two panels? Two panels. Two panels down? Okay. <laughs> well, I'll shut up and let you do your work. It has to be. I mean, if you look down the main center of the car, right in the middle, there has to be 40 or 50 screws here. Oh, my gosh. That's unbelievable. He's taking a lot of screws out now. Oh yeah. There you go. Down she comes. I lost count on how many screws he's pulling out. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of them. It's a lot. And we're getting ready for the second panel to come down. There we go. Okay, the oil is just about done draining out. Filter is uh, giving it a good, nice, long drain. And again, I just, uh, you see the pieces on the floor there that'll be going back up. Uh, those are the pieces that they took off, the two big pieces, to get at the oil change. And we're also doing the filter, too. We're doing uh, the uh, transmission filter. Brian's telling me he's over the, going for the tranny, which is right Right there, I see the screws off it, right there. Yeah, 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 okay. Here are our Blackstone Analysis uh, cans, two, two canisters that we got. And uh, Brian's gonna get us some uh, samples. He reaching in, getting ready to, I think, take the cover off, and some tranny oil should come down and go right into the funnel, maybe. There you go. Oh, 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 we're getting a good dose. Good, good, good. All right, he got more in his arm, I think. <laughs> Poor guy. Brian, I'll tell you, yeoman's work here. <laughs> Gee. Surgeon goes up with the uh, surgical tools to pull that. And there it is. And it looks pretty clean. It looks really good. No big chunks of metal or anything hanging out. No, I've never seen it. Yeah. Nothing in there? Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. Good, good. So we get ready to put the cap on the filter. And then I think, am I right, Brian? And the only, then the only thing in that that's left to do now is to uh, put in oil and tranny oil. Uh, yeah. Check the oil, put the oil in, check the oil level, 
and then um, set the transmission level. So Brian, <laughs> um, now that the car is in here, one of the things I'm sure you do is to check um, if the car is, you know, has all the upgrades, uh, firmware upgrades and stuff like that. All the computer upgrades and uh, make sure the car goes out of here, you know, up to date and so on and so forth. So how, do you do that too when you're in here? I suspect. Um, sometimes, it depends if they have complaints for certain problems because oh. they come up with updates. There's no problem. There's the 30 up. module computers on this car yeah. and to go through every single one, it could take you all day uh, to check all the, you know, yeah. firmware, software updates. Um, a lot of these cars have the radio updates and it takes a yeah. good six, six tenths of one hour just to program one module, so. Wow. Sometimes it can take some time, sometimes it's quicker. Just, uh, but we don't go through it. Okay. All, because there's so many. So Not if you got a, if you got a day, complaint right? with something we and we find it, you know, it pertains to your situation, then, then we'll throw it in. Eight quarts? Eight quarts of oil? It, it calls for seven and a half, but everything I've done, I put eight into it. They've all taken eight, yeah. yeah. Final one, looks like. Gonna do a half a quart and then check it, I'm sure. So that's interesting. You you, tra you check the transmission when the car's not running, but you check the oil level while the car is running. Starting up the car, and I think he's doing that to let the oil. I'm sure that the uh, engine temperature is pretty pretty close to operating temperature, so. I'm gonna let them run a little bit and check the oil. I'd probably take another half a quart, which he says all of the cars he's done has taken the extra half a quart. So we'll see. Let's go to run for a little bit. Gotta let it warm up. Let it warm up. Yeah, you gotta let it warm up. Warm up for a little bit. Yep. It's down a half a quart. Yep, you're right. I haven't seen one yet. I'll be damned. Down a half a quart. There you go. How are you gonna get it? To, how do you how do you get to the transmission filler hole? What's it? everything I see is crazy. Just gonna jack it back up. There's a little level plug there. Take it out, and you just level it off. You gotta shut, have the car shut off to do it though. So I gotta go through the gears first. Set that. Get all the air purge out of the lines, and then uh, just set the level. Take wow. it up in the air. Take that plug out with the car off, and uh, the fluid should be level with that plug. So we're putting the, the panels back in. There's two of them. He's got the first one he's working on now. And then the second one goes in front of the first one right here. Second piece is going up. Bingo. Bingo. Looks good. They're all buttoned up. Any any extras on the deck here? No, they're all gone. Okay, that's good. <laughs> all right, that's awesome. Great job. Great job. Pleasure to watch your work too. It's great stuff. Very good. So how often do they send you to school? Whenever I need a course right now. Whenever you need a course. Yeah, I'm all maxed out. When you say, I don't know how to do this, no. they send you to school? <laughs> no, anytime they have updates or something, they yeah, new stuff that comes. Where do you with. go to school? Somewhere locally or they send you? Uh, Sanford. Sanford? Okay. Yeah. Very good. Very much more than I need for schooling, so. Yeah, I, taking out the engine must be unbelievable. It all comes together. Oh, yeah. We don't want to go through that though. No, 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 no. I've heard some people already taking them out, but yeah. Hopefully we won't go uh, that far. Uh, I don't know. No, no, thank you. I'd pass on that one big time. <laughs> <laughs> want to send out a huge thank you to Nahas Chevrolet in Wildwood, Florida, here where I bought my car, and to uh, service manager Tony Little who uh, made this all possible so we could get into the garage and see what's going on and also uh, Brian Shea who is the Corvette tech for uh, his hospitality and 
putting up with me and uh, allowing us to go in and shoot the video uh, today of the service being done on my 2020 C8 Corvette. So you guys were great. The Haas Chevrolet is great. And I must say uh, they were very, very accommodating. And I can't thank them enough for allowing us to do this video. The three hints that I promised you, I'm listing down in the description below. Uh, the first one was about the oil and where you can send off to get uh, your oil samples taken and analyzed. And the second one, TSBs and uh, recalls. I've got a link down there for that. And the third one, the, uh, the uh, window sticker, $8 for a window sticker. It's a pretty good deal. And I think it's a one-time charge too. I'm not sure, but check it out. That's the third one. They're all down there for you now. Uh, I'm just putting them in and finishing them off in just a couple of minutes. And thanks so much for watching the video, if, especially if you got this far. And don't uh, be shy to subscribe. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscri subscribe button. And also the like button is nice if you like the video and the efforts that we put into this because it's a lot of work. And uh, the third one, of course, is to leave a comment. I love reading the comments. Any ideas or thoughts or something I missed, you can put on there. Anything like that, I appreciate. So... Hope you're having a great day and thanks for watching. See you on the next video.